Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. The channel is the No Metrics, No Simping, All Subjects channel. We're getting back to Isaiah 4 and 1. This is going to be the last video of today. I'm not even sure what we're going to do tomorrow yet. Got a lot of stuff I got to do the next couple days, so I'm not sure. But y'all know we got a lot of other videos for y'all to watch. This is the All Subjects channel, as you can see if you've been scrolling through my videos. I talk about everything on here. I talk about the Bible. I talk about relationships. I talk about movies. I talk about being street smart. Anything you could think of. I done talked about the Stockholm Syndrome. I done talked about the conspiracies. You name it. We talk about it. And we also have content by request uh, from the viewers. Something you want me to talk about, put it in the comments box. And if you can, you definitely should hit the like button. But if you can, also send super thanks, cash up, whatever. If you can. To support the channel. That's how you show you support the channel. Now hitting that like button if you don't have the means or you a stingy person, you still can hit the like button. Ain't, ain't no cost to hitting the like or even the dislike button. But we getting back to Isaiah 4 and 1. Isaiah 4 and 1 says, In that day seven women will take hold of one man, saying we will eat our own food, wear our own clothes, only let us be called by your name, take away our disgrace. The disgrace is all this role reversal that these women be doing which is damaging your relationship, damaging your finances, damaging your kids. Just doing damage. I call them Susie Homebreakers. You know how the term Susie Homemaker? I call these women that uh, destroy their relationship uh, if they don't get their way. Susie Homebreaker. Or they do something that he just had enough of. The Susie homebreakers breaking up their homes. Kids looking out the window wondering what their father doing. He gone because of your mama. That's what it is on a lot of cases. Not every case, I'm sure it's cases where the man be messing his uh, stuff up. But as I told y'all, and that's kind of along the lines of what we're talking about, finances should not destroy the home this shouldn't and I'm going to tell you some scenarios why because you should be working as a team should be working as a team if you stay at home you know how the, you know how the world is now let me see what's the gas price it's kind of lower now 245 here in Milwaukee where I'm at right now 76th in Good Hope 245 at Andy's. But y'all know these gas prices go way higher than that. And on top of the gas prices going up, the price for food has went up. The price of everything has went up. But these women, you start having financial failures, these stay-at-home wives is too vocal. Like they what they do now, they do a lot of talking. And I know of many cases of guys who have stay-at-home wives a lot of talking. You know, you have financial failures. Instead of them helping you, they talk about you just like everybody else. What, what makes them different from everybody else? You can't, when you somebody's wife, you can't do what everybody else do. You can't. If everybody else trying to go back and forth with him and insulting him and all that, and you do it too, he should dump you out, out the rip. You shouldn't even be there. Ain't no way your wife should be doing what other people do or agreeing with them. Like, they talking about, like, let's say you one of them dudes to speak your mind. You speak your mind so on and so forth 
And people, you know how people is nowadays, they don't like the truth. They don't like people who speak their mind. It'd be a small select fruit few to do. How you think T.D. Jakes got this far? I was talking about him, Ringo was talking about him, Neo was talking about him. People been talking about this stuff for a long time. But T.D. Jakes and Joe Osteen and these type of guys that got this far because them the type of people y'all like. Your wife can't do what these other people do. You going to work, going back and forth with your coworkers because they trying to control you, trying to punk you, so on and so forth. And then you come home and your wife is agreeing with your coworkers. She agreeing with your co-workers. That's not a wife. Especially if she adds to that, not having sex, scaling back her other roles. That's not a wife. That's a roommate who shouldn't be your roommate. A woman who's supposed to be your girlfriend or supposed to be your wife, concubine, whatever, that's not fulfilling the roles that she's there to do, that's a roommate that you need to get rid of or you need to leave. I'm like, okay, you can have this here. Because Isaiah 4 and 1 says, like I say, in that day, seven women take hold of one man. Why would you put up with a woman that causes anxiety? Don't you know that that stuff, if you don't deal with that anxiety stuff, and sometimes some guys have anxiety because it be a big weights on their shoulders sometimes. And dude, like, nobody has time to go to college. Like, but the way things increase, it's almost like, man. Like, sure will help to have some a little financial help. But guys don't be having time to go to college and do sometimes do those things that will bring that money. You you gotta find a way you do. But while you going through those type of cycles in your life, you should not, she should not be doing all that talking, arguing, raising her voice, disrespecting you. She should be trying to suck you off, make you feel better, cook you a good meal. They be adding to it, man. Dude told me yesterday. He said, man, I done been through that divorce stuff, man. He said, I never. He got a girlfriend. His girlfriend don't live with him. He said, I'll never do that again. Ain't no way. He said, I already done been through all that crazy stuff. So... I'm telling you is, and we, we've been down this road before on all different topics in Isaiah 4 and 1. You know, you gotta, you gotta, and I've heard other people say this. Chris B just said it. A lot of other guys been telling y'all the same thing. You gotta dictate the relationship. And you got to, every woman you get with, you got to be willing to dump her from day one. She's supposed to be on your program. We talk about this. So the topic I want to mainly emphasize is 19 player women should not be in your game. Should not be on your roster. Should not have anything to do with you. What the women at your job do, as long as they ain't your woman, who cares? The guys start trying to come to you, they going with a chick at work, she doing it, don't, don't even be like, I'm gonna stay out of that. Tell them, I'm just, I'm hey man, that's between y'all, I'm gonna stay out of that. Cause you know what'll happen? Next, she'll be coming to you. 
And when you deal with women at work, while you dealing with them outside of work, you, you get them in line <coughs> how they gonna be at work. Get them in line if you gonna deal with women at your job. Like, look, when we at work, there ain't gonna be no arguing, no back and forth. You have to control your jealousy, so on and so forth. Get her in line. Because again, a woman that's a team player is going to get in line with you. And, and those are the ones you want on your roster. Me, I got my requirements. You can't stink. That's a biggie. I got my requirements. And one of them is... If you a woman, I'm a man, I'm in charge. We ain't going by the devil, we going by the Bible. Women in charge, that's the devil. Y'all know, I done taught y'all about XX, and the Saturn, and uh, Lucinda, and I done taught y'all about this stuff, man. Leviathan. We done talked about this extensively. To have a woman pulling the punch, calling shot, I don't care how much she make, is not of God for no man. The most high said out of his own lips, men <coughs> shall have rule over you. It's not even up for negotiation. It's no exceptions. That's how he set it up. So you do understand that when you go against what he set up, it's called what? It's called rebellion. I just told somebody yesterday, was telling them, or telling this individual that if you are in rebellion against your husband then and and he divorces you or you divorce him due to rebellion or out of rebellion anybody that you marry is adultery now if you had a woman let's say you had a unicorn that was doing her best doing everything she's supposed to do in the relationship truly uh, it's the most high is the ultimate judge of it. and he comes and tells her he wants a divorce. That individual is going to be looked at a little different from the most high. He wouldn't consider it adultery if a guy divorced his wife for no good reason. That's why that's what the Messiah was talking about when he said Moses permitted you for the hardness of your heart. Because what was happening back then, if you know the history, is those guys, they were divorcing their wife for every little petty thing. And that is not how it was set up. Now, adultery, did she go sleep with another man? Automatic adultery. Ain't no bigamy in the Bible. Ain't no polyamory in the Bible. Polygyny in there, but those things ain't. Take it up with him. Take it up with him. You doing polyamory, trying to be married to two men, you in rebellion against the scripture. So, if they don't want to get with your, like I said, if they don't want to be team player, they don't want to get with your program, they shouldn't be on your roster. Tell her to her face that we ain't together no more. When you, when you, see, this is how it works. Once you decide that, the court don't decide that. Marriage is in the eyes of God. The husband decide that that's not his wife no more. That's not his wife no more. That's how it works. Like, she can't be not having sex with you then trying to stand on you, tell you what you can't do. If you still sexual and you still want to have sex, she can't tell you, no, I'm not doing it. Only way 
she could say no to you is if she's on her cycle. She on her cycle, that's a permitted, because y'all not supposed to be doing that anyway. Or if y'all agree, you know, if she's sick or something like that, and you say, okay, well, but if you come to her for pleasure, she's there for your recreation. You come to her to fulfill some pleasure, desire that you may have, and she turns you down. Listen, man, listen. These preachers don't know the word. The majority of them don't know the word. They just talk. That's why they be stopping, walking around and stuff, trying to figure out what they gonna say next. Cause they, don't, they be running out of words cause the most high ain't speaking to them. Look how many videos I got. I ain't nowhere near running out of words. But they do that because a lot of the stuff your modern day preachers are saying is false. They be pumping these women up. They be at home not having sex with their husband. And a woman who masturbates but doesn't have sex with her husband Man, she is toast. Ain't no way. She, you turning her into a god. That's your most high. You let them get away with that, man. Okay, you ain't. You don't want to do it with me. Then you, you ain't supposed to do it with nobody. Who you think you is? See, this is why you can't get a marriage license, man, because when you get that marriage license, you put in the court in your business. You can't leave until they say so and how they say so. Don't listen to nobody with that marriage license. And you get married, you when you want to put yourself at risk like that, go right ahead. But trust me when I tell you, you can't, if you go down there, and you try to just file some papers on her and she contest it, that judge, especially you black, you better hope to the heavens that that judge does not have a problem with you, with that he don't want to work, all that little stuff people get in their minds about us. You better hope that judge is fair. If that judge is even the slightest bit unfair, then you gonna either say, well, stick, flip them the bird and get put in jail. Dude, this marriage stuff, man, these women can get mad all they want. That's not for us, man. It don't benefit us. It ain't gonna benefit us until they change the rules of the game concerning that. It's just not, man. And a lot of dudes that you hear, Coach Greg, Chris B, they already done went through it. I'm headed there. Others have been through it. I mean, how many people got to tell you the same stuff? We all say it in different ways. And you still go do that? Man, I don't feel sorry for you. You trusting these women like they don't negatively change? I don't feel sorry for you. I was just talking to this, this one lady. Nice person. Not bad looking. She older than me. She told me she's like 53. She just came back from Jamaica and she looked off in space and was like, uh, yeah, I, I don't need to go there no more. She said, 
my birthday this weekend. We going to me and my friends going to the hotel. Nice person. Nice, not bad looking. Not a bad figure. But when they be having all them friends, man, them friends, man. It's safe to say that we guys do not listen to these Christian pastors. They're going to try to push you towards marriage. You don't know what these women is doing. You don't know what they did. They're going to tell you what they want to tell you, and it's always going to be less than what they actually did. And if you know how to vet, you're going to be getting upset with them because they telling you they're a virgin. They only had sex with one guy, two guys, three guys, four guys. But yet their actions are like a porn star. You're like, okay, if you are that less experienced, then you sure know what you're doing. Have you had practice? She act like somebody that got 20 bodies, but talk like she only got one, zero, two, four. She act like somebody that got 100 bodies, but she talk like somebody who don't have any. That's how guys be getting caught up. Man, I ain't trying to be nasty, but when they try to tell you, well, I'm tight, this, that, man, put her legs over her head. And just take your whole body as far in there as you can go. How deep you are at your maximum moisture, that's where you at. See, they play this game sometimes now where they don't want to let you hit it all the way. And they've been doing that for a while. Like, they was doing that back in the 90s. When they try to act like they such a way, they don't want you to put that pillow under there. They don't want you to take your whole body like you're doing push-ups and put her legs back here. Some of them don't even want you to, to eat it too, too tough because they know that you're going to find out that they deeper than they say. You ever seen them tight? They always trying to stop you because they don't want you to see that that's actually a vacuum cleaner. See, they know how to contort their muscles, some of them, to make it seem... Like they ain't been out here like that. Take them legs, put them legs all the way back. Well, let's keep going. We're almost done with this. That whole conversation was a pause, 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 pause. So, my eyes still jumping. I think that's because I ain't drunk, Carly. No water today. But team players, man, dictate to them, man. They cutting you off when you talk. Nip that in the bud, right? Hey, listen, you. Every time I start talking, you start talking. Wait till I'm done talking. See, y'all be too. Y'all be trying to be too nice. They don't like that. This, this what they. They don't like hardly anything. They say they want a nice guy, all this and that, but they get tired of them too. They say they want a guy that put his foot down, they definitely get tired of him. Start putting your foot down and watch how she switch up. If she always talking, like she talk a lot, start putting your foot down. 
Let's see what you got over there. She trying to have a double standard? Put your foot down. She want to spend freely, but every time you buy something she want to talk, put your foot down. Tell her if you, you need to have the same standard for yourself that you have for me. Let's see. Let's see. I predict that she's going to get up close and personal with someone at her job if she has one. Meeting at hotels. Getting smashed downstairs on the couch telling the kids, don't come down here. While you gone, the kids ain't gonna tell you, mama told me not to come down here. I heard her moaning and groaning. They ain't gonna hear her. They ain't gonna know, especially if your kids are deep sleepers, they'll never know what she do. This is what guys is dealing with. Cause I'm gonna tell you, man, in closing, when women start doing little sneaky stuff, how you going to see it, if they increase their nagging and, and they demands and they start acting lazy and trying to scale back their role, you know it's another bull in the ring a lot of times. And he's a punk for going along. You are a simp. You a punk. You need your ASS whoop. And I wouldn't fight a guy like that now because I already know it's a wrap. But he better stay out of my way, though, because I don't have no respect for him. So you play tough guy, we can see how tough you is in the situation. But anyway, I'm gone. We shall see y'all when we see y'all, possibly tomorrow, possibly the next day. Just stay tuned. Turn on your notifications.